My exhibition is called Spiritual Abstractions. This is a group of paintings that I've been working on for the last three or four years. My paintings before were more narrative. They were often very sexualized, very scatological. These paintings that are kind of softer and gentler just evolved from those. The more I painted and worked on these paintings, the more refined they got, pushing into this weird space between figuration and abstraction. I just really started spinning out on all the stuff that painters spin out on, line, shape, contour, color, form. There's lots of interesting negative space that's crammed in between the figures, the flowers, the vases. I then started thinking about them in the context of art history, and I started thinking about people like Hilma A.F. Clint, Agnes Pelton, Sonia Delaunay, these people who were in that tradition of abstraction, but tethered to some kind of spiritualism. I'm not spiritual at all, but I really could see the connection between those historical movements and what I'm doing now. For me, humor is everything in art, and the art that I really love is art that has humor in it. I just think it's a great vehicle. I think paintings of people, a viewer really has a specific idea of how a human figure should be or what's right and what's wrong. A frog, a dog, a fish, I have a lot of liberty. When I first started painting, the poodles and the frogs, they had genitalia, they were gender specific, and eventually they just moved away from that, kind of evolving into these softer, featureless figures. It opens up the reading of the painting. You can project onto them. I could see them as a self-portrait, or as a viewer, you could see them as yourself. They have very base emotions. They're forlorn, or wistful, or melancholy. I realized after I had made quite a few of these that they function as Rorschachs. Once I had that epiphany, then I just dove deep into it. You know, what's wrong with me, right?